Well, praise the Lord and good afternoon. Welcome to this week's devotion vlog. It's entitled Beyond Yourself. This is the Getting Through series, and we're in Psalm chapter 22. So what are we going to discuss? What are we going to get through? Well, getting through abandonment, getting through being forsaken, rejected, left alone. It's exactly what we see David going through here in Psalm 22. This is verse, the first verse is actually what Jesus quoted on the cross. Oh God, why have you forsaken me? We have all been through that. Sadly, much more people are going through it, especially the younger generations. Statistics show that those under 25, double amount battle with depression than those older. And triple amount battle with suicidal thoughts. And over the last couple of years with the pandemic and all the other crisis going on, it's only increased that, multiplied it so much more. So that's the world we live in. So many can relate with this Psalm 22 regarding feeling forsaken, feeling left out, feeling alone. And David's really turning to God. Where are you? Why are you not answering my prayer? Why are you not showing up? Why are you not stepping into my situation? What's going on, God? Well, you might feel exactly that, or you have felt that, or you will feel that at some point. God doesn't seem always to answer our prayers when we think he should. So why is that? Well, we can't tell God what to do. God knows all things. You know, he knows everything. He sees way beyond what we can see. He's higher than, you know, his thoughts are higher than our thoughts. His ways are higher than our ways. We can't just always know what's really going on. And as this vlog's um, title is, it can be beyond ourself. See, everyone's eyes are on us. People are watching. We affect people, whether good or bad. And it goes beyond our lifetime. We affect generations. So we've got to understand this point that it's not just about us. It's not just about me. We often have a hard time because we're looking through everything through our own eyes, our own lens, and not opening our eyes to the bigger picture. So what are we to do to help those who seem to be stuck, seem to be focused just on themselves? Well, we can learn to have understanding. We can learn to think beyond ourselves. See, David was quoting throughout this Psalm in 22, was quoting much of what he was going to, what Jesus was going to go through so much time later. This was a prophetic it wasn't just his own personal experience. It was prophetic what he was going through. And as believers, what we go through will be prophetic. Will mean more than just us and the current situation. It's beyond that. God is a big God and things happen way beyond what we could ever perceive. And what can we do? Well, David was still going to God, even in his frustration, being honest. And throughout the psalm, you'll see he'll reflect on what God has done in the past. He was helping, he was encouraging himself, reminding himself. That's what we got to do. And when it comes down to it, we just got to trust God, no matter how we feel. We walk by faith, not by sight. Our feelings can't determine our faith. Our faith has to determine our, you know, what we do with our feelings. And, and so I really encourage you, if you're struggling, ask God to show you the big picture. And he might show you, he may not. But bottom line is, what can we do? Trust God, no matter what. God got us. God loves us. He will take care of us. Jesus experienced complete rejection, abandonment. Father himself turned his back on him. That was the hardest thing. That's why Jesus, knowing what was about to take place, sweat blood in the garden. He understands and he will help us through. He will be there for us. And so I hope this has encouraged you. If you are struggling in anything that I've shared about today, just run to Jesus. God bless you. See you next time.